airmen at Eglin Air Force Base make sure bombers are safe from enemy attacks. Instead of using guns, the bombers use an electronic jamming system to confuse enemy radar. These airmen are responsible for checking these systems on B-1s and B-52s. Electronic warfare is kind of like a chess game. You're always trying to stay one step ahead of the enemy, making sure that you know what they're using and you have a way to protect yourself against it. Anything that can hurt us, we're going to test against it. Airmen run lab tests on the equipment and software to save time and money. We can check the exact interpretation of what's going to happen on the aircraft in this lab, so it's much more efficient than trying to fly a B-1 around day after day, making sure it's got correct data. Once the electronic warfare craftsmen finish their evaluation, they send the data and software to the combat air force. If we send a, uh, the warfighters over there without correct mission data sets, then they may not come home. Test and development for the software and electrical equipment can take around two years to become operational. Airman Zach Vaughn, Eglin Air Force Base, Florida.